Hi, my friend. Hi, my friend. <laughs> Am I stunting or no? Hey, hey guys! Shh, hush, Fawn. Hey guys! Back to my channel. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is my birthday vlog. <laughs> so I am here in New York, about to probably should be leaving the apartment now. Um, head to the airport. I am going to the Bahamas. The Bahamas. Ah, the Bahamas. Does the Bahamas have a song? Are they in any movie? You know, like how Aruba. I mean. Anyways, y'all, let's go. Say bye to Fawn. Fawn is staying here. Look at her. She looks all sad and depressed. Oh. Fawn could have been coming, but guess what she did? You didn't tell me. She decided to schedule her reserve block on my birthday weekend. So, oh, ow. So she can't come. Oh well. All right guys, so I finally made it to the Bahamas. Flight was great. I slept like 30 minutes and then a man talked to me all the rest of the way here, but it's all good. So I am at Captain's Table on the West, West End. Like or who? Like or key? Oh, life or key. key. Okay. With two new friends. So let's say Brendan. Hi. He was sweet enough to pick me up from the airport. He was. So Nico, tell us you got here when? Last Thursday and I will be leaving next Monday. You like it here? I love it here. He loves it here. I'm not staying that long. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back to work. But let's eat. Good morning. This is my view from my god sister's house. Isn't it beautiful? Look how beautiful this is, guys. So this is her patio and backyard. There's no yard because it's just ocean. But isn't this nice? Now this makes me want to buy a house on somebody's island. I just have to pick an island. <laughs> My sunglasses are popping. Say hi to my god sister Sakaya. Hey. We're enjoying a, it's hot out here. A nice warm beach day. We're gonna go do some fun with the dolphins a little later. All right, y'all, we have a tent set up. Where is it? Oh, right there. It's nice out here. I'm gonna go put my feet in the water. I swim with the dolphins in an hour so I'm not gonna swim too much right now but just dip my feet and relax a bit. Oh, this is good to It feels amazing out here, y'all. The sun is just enough. The wind is blowing. I'm excited. My god sister is still over there on the other side of the beach. She's she's not interested in getting in the water. These islanders, they're crazy. <laughs> I love water. Every year on my birthday, I do something in somebody's water. So can't break tradition. I was a little worried that these dolphins wouldn't look happy and it was like torturous or something. But they really do look happy. So 
of the dolphin experience was super cute. And then now, ooh, here's the stingrays. Look, they're huge. I was saying it was really fun. I kind of wished I would have done the swimming with the dolphins experience. I did the encounter experience so we didn't actually like get in the water and swim with them but it's all good. It was fun. Our dolphin's name was Salvador. He was super cute. He gave me a nice long dry kiss. Um, but yeah now I'm just gonna head back over to the beach and relax a little bit. Maybe get in and and float for a while. I couldn't actually record me playing with the dolphins, um, but of course they get you. So I bought some photos, so I'll insert those. my lunch it's officially beach time get in here the tube relax it out a bit Woo. okay y'all uh, it over okay, if I fall an iPhone falls iPhone's supposed to be waterproof so we're gonna test it out and see <laughs> this floating y'all this is really freaking Relaxing. People have kayaks out here for rent. They have kayaks that you can rent. I think they have those little bike things that you can do too. I don't feel like working out. I just want to float. It's like I'm floating now. And look, Fancy Beauty Lava is holding up a well in this water. Let me show y'all. Oh my god, I'm scared of it. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but my legs are really busy around here. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. But they're closing soon, or at least the last boat back to civilian land. <laughs> Leaves at four. It's like almost three right now. So, all right. I got stuck in the rocks. So, I'm trying to make my way back to the water. I kind of goes down. Things. Next thing I knew, I was stuck. <sighs> I'm really enjoying this. Like, this is all I need. <laughs> Watch this. Good morning, today is day two of the Bahamas, AKA my birthday. So I got my birthday beat on, which is, I'm getting on a boat, probably getting some water, but I still wanted a really cute birthday beat. And my swimsuit says, birthday suit. So today I'm actually going off by myself because my god sister, she had pre-plans, has to take her daughter swimming and things like that. Um, so I'm doing an Exuma tour. Um, Y'all probably seen the pictures of the little swing pigs in the beach and stuff. That was the whole reason why I wanted to come to the Bahamas because I just wanted to see the pigs. So I'm doing that today and I think we stopped at a few other stops to get some lunch. So it's kind of a full day. It's Right now it's 8 o'clock. Boat leaves at 8.15, 8.30, something like that. And I think I get back at 5.30. So I'm super excited for today. Y'all know I'm going to show you the pigs. <laughs> Alright, we're up. I'm sitting next to the captain because I'm the lucky birthday girl. Like 40 miles per hour. 
face numb. Time for the iguanas. You wanna put one? I don't know if I'm gonna feed it though. Oh my god, y'all. I am not one for. Oh my Jesus, I don't think I'm for this. Now it's time to go to the pigs. We're done with it. for the piggies. Hi, my friend. Hi, my friend. Look at me. Alright, so we're gonna do 
anyways, before, before we give you all the floor, we're going to give you a little taste of some real jumping music, all right? This is what it sounds like on Boxing Day and New Year's Day. Now we're going to do a two hour boat ride back to the main island and then we'll see what I get into tonight but it's been very very fun this is Exuma Escapes is the name of the the tour that I'm doing all right finally back to my god sister's house and she was like wow your makeup held up pretty good I'm like girl look at this indention from my glasses just still sitting there chilling <sighs> goodness gracious Okay, gonna obviously take a shower after jumping into that um, salty, beyond salty ocean shark infested <laughs> water. But, um, take a little nap and then we're going out for dinner. Alright guys, I am up from my nap. About to go out for a nice dinner with my god sister and her hubby. <laughs> And here, look at little mini me. Meredith, say hi. Hi. Can you push me in, please? Can I push you in, please? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Push me in a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, I can see. So, Meredith is giving me a birthday balloon. So, I'll celebrate her birthday so she can have another birthday, a birthday party. Isn't Happy birthday. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. So it's in here. This huh? birthday balloon is for you. This birthday balloon is for me. Anyways, guys, um, we're about to head out of here in just a bit. Um, I'll show you where we're going for dinner. Oh, let me see. Give you a little OOTV. It's a little dress what with a heel. That's cool. Um, I'll probably get a better view for y'all in a bit, so talk later. <laughs>
fish in the Bahamas that we use primarily to make a salad with. So you put, you know, your uh, sweet pepper, your onions, tomatoes, your lime, your goat pepper, and that's pretty much the way of life here in the Bahamas. But it's a, it's a sea fish, it's pretty much a part of the day-to-day -day diet of people in the Bahamas. Hey guys. I don't know why I like to come to y'all while I'm face masking, but I'm face masking. It's the last night in the Bahamas. Today has just been a real chill day. Um, we went out, got some food, um, and I've just been chilling around the house. This was a very, like, this vacation was perfect, much needed. Um, I love adventure, so I got all my adventure in. Um, and then the relaxation is probably even better than the adventure. It's just nice to just lay and not do something sometimes. Um, and I'm getting really comfortable with, like, traveling by myself, even though, of course, I'm here with um, my god sister and her, her hubby and her little cute daughter, Meredith. Um, but I really enjoy just, like, going out by myself like on my actual birthday I was by myself I met people of course that were on the boat but it was amazing just to embrace life and think about everything and just enjoy myself if you've never traveled alone if you're really like um you want to go out and you want to do things but you feel like you have no one to go with I say just go ahead and book that ticket and go one um before, you know, I've, I've traveled quite a bit before I became a flight attendant, and I always traveled with people, especially my family, and I love traveling with them. Um, but, you know, I would do trips with other friends and things of that sort, and it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely fun to have people there with you. Of course, the turn up is real, but, you know, if you and your friends don't necessarily want to do all the same things, you know, you kind of have to be very compromising when you're on a trip with other people. And when you travel by yourself, you do what you want. You go see what you want. You get up where you want. You eat what you want. All of that good stuff. And then you make friends out and about. So, I just I was just sitting here thinking about it, how I can't wait to book my next trip. Well, actually, my next trip is already booked. <laughs> I'll be in Cuba on the 9th um, with my cousin. So, that should be fun. And then I have... Paris for Beyonce coming up in July. That's exciting. And then um, my company that's very near and dear to my heart, I won some um, positive space tickets um, through, I forgot the, I forgot which airline, uh, uh, El Al, there we go, El Al Airlines to Tel Aviv, Israel. So I'm thinking of kind of doing that maybe in August. Um, I won two positive space tickets and I was actually going to go for my birthday. It would have been perfect. Um, but my mother decided she wants to go with me. So I, I think in August, my mother's birthday is in August. Hopefully around that time I can take that trip. So I'm looking forward to that. And then, you know, all my little layovers in between on the West Coast are always nice as well. Um, but I don't know. I might get out in the morning because I haven't really went like downtown and done any little shopping. My flight leaves tomorrow like at three. So I may just kind of go out in the morning and hit the streets and get some little knickknacks and some souvenirs to take back. Um, but yeah, I hadn't really chatted to y'all today. So I just wanted to update you on what I've been doing. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. My face is getting really hard, so let me go take off this mask. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Last day in the Bahamas. We just dropped little Meredith off at school. My god sister has to go to work. She's a doctor. Um, so she's gonna drop me off to do some shopping and then 
we'll be leaving today. All right, guys, made it to, I forgot what she said this little town, this little area was called, but it's just a lot of stores and food. I'm probably gonna find food. We went to Starbucks and had like coffee and sat and chilled me, her and Dennis. Um, but I'm hungry now. So I'm gonna eat and then hop into some of these um, stores and maybe get a few souvenirs. shortly so I can get to the airport by one. These are government buildings. I was asking my cousin, I was like, why are these buildings pink? All the pink buildings, like that Pepto-Bismol Pepto pink, uh, means that they're like government buildings, or at least they're supposed to all be like painted that color. So, I love the islands. You know, in the U.S., definitely not Texas. You don't, definitely not Houston. You don't go anywhere and find buildings with vibrant colors everything's like really neutral colored so it kind of gives me like places in Florida, like few cities in florida fort lauderdale i know my aunt's house is like a, a corally color which i really love hoas in houston are not about that life <laughs> You know, we're probably just traffic to pass by so y'all can hear me. Um, the Bahamas is way more expensive than than I knew because the last time I was here, I wasn't an adult, I was a child, so <clears throat> and we cruised here. We've cruised here about three times way back in the day. So obviously I didn't consider money and things like that, but it is definitely way more expensive than I assumed. Okay, it just got real. Look at this. I am so shocked they have an Aspen. I love Aspen. If they have a Denver, it's a done deal. Dakota, Daphne, Dash, Delilah, Dexter, Diamond, Roxy, Dixie, Dolly, Dozer, Duke, Duke, Duncan. Oh, look, that's my cousin's name. Uh, no Denver? Shoot. Let me tell you this. If I get this and not one... Oh, look, there's Alexia. Alexia. Um... Oh my gosh, I can't. There's no Denver. I can't. I can't even. I can't. <laughs> Put her back. That's how you hustle. Use your God-given talent. Create things and sell them. Oh, look at this. That's so cute. My mother would love this in her house. Something like it. I'm just looking. Okay, no charge for looking. No charge for looking? Mm -hmm. You made all of these? Most of them. Most of them? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful work. 
That's my small bag. Oh. <laughs> it's already packed to Where the max. Where you from? Houston. Huh? Houston, Texas. Texas. All right, guys. So I've made it to the airport. Y'all can probably tell by all the noise in the background. All right. So I'm about to get some crack conk. <laughs> my last. Oh, my God. It's crazy expensive here. $27. Airport food plus in the Bahamas. Crazy expensive, man. Um... And then make my way back to New York and then San Francisco tomorrow it's a two-day trip and then I'll fly to Houston once I get back from San Fran get a haircut go to San Antonio make sure my cousin has all her stuff together and then we'll drive to Austin hello um, anyways as I was saying so get to go to Houston get a haircut the same day go to San Antonio spend the night with um, my cousin and then we're going to drive to Austin take a flight from Austin to Fort Lauderdale and then Fort Lauderdale to Cuba so I have a lot going on in the next couple of days but hey this is the life of a flight attendant right <laughs> anyways I hope you all truly enjoyed this vlog um, the Bahamas was great it was fun um, come visit. It's a great island, great people, great food, lots and lots of fun. Um, so yeah, until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time.